<clears throat> okay, well, welcome everybody. <clears throat> um, I am Jane Black. Um, I'm a journalist. I write about um, sustainable agriculture and um, healthy eating and small farms and everything that people in this room are probably interested. So as you can imagine, I have a pretty fun and interesting job. Um, I have a really great group of people here. Um, we're going to talk about resilience and family farms. I'm going to just do super quick introductions of everyone so we can get the conversation going. Um, and um, make sure that we have time at the end for questions. So we're going to save 15 minutes at the end. So please, you know, write them down and have them saved. We're going to definitely leave plenty of time for that. Um, when I wrote down everybody's bios, it wasn't in the order they're sitting in. So bear with me here for one second. Um, so to my left, to your right, is uh, Coach Smallwood, who is the executive director of the Rodale Institute. Um, he's focused his efforts on training a new generation of organic farmers and expanding research at Rodale Institute to explore the connection between soil and food and health. Um, next, we have Bernie Price, who's the co-founder and co-executive director of Fresh Farm Markets in Washington. And anybody who lives here, that needs absolutely no introduction because there would be a, a sadder place without Fresh Farm Markets. Um, but she's also responsible for creating the SNAP and Matching Dollars programs at Fresh Farm Markets that um, let low, lower income residents shop at the markets. Um, then we have Tom, and pronounce your last name for me? Pesic. Pesic, just like it looks. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is <clears throat> the representative for the International Fund for Agricultural Development. He's based in DC and he works to influence the direction and content of national and international poverty reduction policies and processes. And I think that's going to be really an interesting global perspective as we talk about small farms and the importance of them. Um, then we have Chandler Gould, who's the National Farmers Union um, Senior Vice President of Programs, and he oversees government relations, communications, membership, and education, which advocate for the economic and social well-being of uh, family farmers, ranchers, fishermen, and consumers. Hmm. Um, sorry about that. Something just fell on our heads over here. Um, <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. So next up, we have Kathy Ozer. And um, Kathy, tell me your title. I'm the executive, executive director. director. Okay. Of the National <coughs> Family Farm Coalition. Very involved in advocating for um, small farm, family farms, sustainable farms um, needs both in, the, in Washington and around the country. And finally, Eric Hansen, who leads the National Young Farmers Coalition's federal policy work. So he's focusing on improving young farmers' access to capital, credit, and land, and helps young farmers to understand the resources available at the USDA, which has got to be a full-time job in and of itself. Um, so I just want to start off the, the discussion with, you know, the, the, the title of the program is about family farms, and it, the question is, well, what is a family farm, right? I mean, I actually recently had this situation where I was trying to write about something, and I thought, well, what is it? And I actually, I think Paul Willis is in the audience here, I emailed Paul Willis, and I said, what do you think a family farm is? And then I called up Nicolette Nyman, and I said, what do you think a family farm is? And it was really interesting, because you know, it didn't really, it obviously had to do with ownership, but it had to do with the connection to the land and the farm and the animals. And, um, and you know, one of the things I thought was really interesting was that there was a definition that the Animal Welfare Institute had put together that had to do with living on the farm. And Nicolette Nyman, who I, I assume, I'm sorry, I should have said who it is, Bill Nyman and Nicolette have a BNN and ranch out in um, Northern California. And she said their requirement is that you live on the farm. And she said, and by that definition, we wouldn't be family farmers, which of course, I mean, you'd be crazy not to think they're family farmers. So, you know, I think that sort of coming to understand what we're talking about and how we should define it is really important for having the conversation to be productive. So just to start and give everyone a chance to talk, we're going to do a lightning round. Um, with everyone on the panel for your definition of a family farm, what you think it should mean. 